Hello all, welcome to 100bytes.com. This is the continuation of OAuth 2.0 OpenID Connect series. In the last video, we have seen about the service discovery endpoints. Uh, that is like how this, um, uh, how in the OAuth and OpenID Connect server can I expose their metadata information for the uh, clients to consume it. Uh, and, and and the Bitbucket location where I have stored the uh, uh, source code to explain these concepts and finally we have seen about that connect to ID server where uh, which is used uh, which is used in this series to explain these concepts and in this video we have we will see about the uh, what client registration so, so anyone if they want to consume that OAuth 2.0 open ID connect uh, concept they have to register themselves as a client in the OAuth and open ID server there are a couple of mechanisms is uh, uh, defined in standard to uh, to register the client most of the clients uh, most of the OAuth server will provide the web public uh, web page access where you can uh, use you you can log in using a username and password and you can register uh, register the client the some of them will expose the rest endpoints uh, this connect to id server also doesn't have any ui but they expose the rest uh, rest endpoint where you can re register the clients uh, for, for as you know that like there are two types of clients uh, that is like public client and confidential clients the clients which cannot uh, hold the se uh, secret securely is called termed as a public client which is usually a javascript application or a mob mobile app application and uh, application which can hold the secrets uh, securely is termed as a confidential client and it is usually a web, web application where they can uh, store the secrets in the backend server securely as defined in two ways like you can register the clients one is in open where anyone can register and the one is a dynamic which requires some initial access token we will see about how what it is so uh, as i told earlier like uh, uh, some most of the uh, some, uh, some OAuth server or an open ID server provides some web page access where you can use uh, login using your username and password and you can register the uh, client um, in some cases the rest endpoints uh, so here like um, uh, this I, I'll show about how to how to do dynamic registration uh, registration of the client in the connect to ID server so so here like uh, dynamic registration means like anyone can't uh, come and uh, register the client which requires some some secret has to be proven by the user saying that I am a valid user I want to register my client so in this connect to ID server so uh, it's they have their prop uh, prop properties file called OIDC provider properties file so in this they have their access token uh, this is the registered access token which we can use it for register the client dynamically so in normal scenarios like this access token can be shared with the clients in some secure manner so they can use it for registering the OAuth client I will use the postman to show the how to register and re uh, retrieve the clients uh, uh, through connect to ID server. Uh, so like I have uh, already started on uh, connect to ID server in the backend. So if you see like this is the server URL like 127.0.0.8080 slash e2id clients. But how do we get this uh, URL? As I explained in the last series, like the service discovery endpoint which has all the details. So in our case, like if you see here, uh, client registration, that is like registration of endpoint, that is will be, this is the endpoint actually. So using this uh, endpoint, we can register or whatever the clients uh, we want, either it can be public client or dynamic uh, confidential client. And uh, I'm and I'm using a dynamic registration as I said so if you see in my headers so I have this uh, that uh, that initial access token which I'm passing as a bearer token which will be uh, which will be verified by the OAuth, uh, OAuth open ID server to uh, to create the client so let me hit it so this will uh, this is returning all the in uh, all the clients which is registered and this is a json based payload and it is a scheme and uh, and most of the time like uh, most of the time you'll get you'll see like a scheme based standard okay now we will see how to register these clients uh, uh, i have a payload to register a client with the grant types almost everything is supported like refresh token client credential password and authorization code and this redirect uris are which is required for the uh, some of the uh, grant types like especially for the author code which requires a redirect URI so you uh, like when if you are adding if you are adding this authorization code as a grant type you must provide this redirect URI which we will see it in the later uh, later videos and I'm just posting it so you you got a response here so in the response you will see 
uh, what are the uh, what are the grant types it supported uh, uh, and like a registration client URI uh, that means like this is the client ID basically that is uh, you can get it from this information here and in the response types what are the response types it supported uh, and the client secret uh, what is the endpoint auth method it supported client secret basic so you can uh, we can have a multi various uh, uh, auth methods also supported that we, we can we'll see it in the later uh, videos so suppose I want to access the access uh, details of this client so what I can do is like I'll just uh, copy paste this one actually so I because this this is this is uh, this this is the client ID you have to pass it and in the headers I will copy paste this one so I'll pass it as an authorization header so I'm I'm uh, I want to get the information so I'll get uh, hit sent for the get method so I'll get the information so you see here all these informations are there uh, and uh, this is the client secret uh, which has to be used to buy your uh, which you have to use it prove that you are a valid uh, uh, OAuth client suppose if I want to update this uh, uh, client so I can um, I can use the put method so body and it is a uh, it's application JSON type so I want to change it to client secret post instead of uh, uh, what do you call it um, basic basically if you uh, if you click send it will automatically change it will automatically change that one you can see here but the one thing is like the client ID never changes and but the secrets will change actually so this you have to careful like whenever you change it you have to update the secrets this is the way you have to do uh, you have to register the client dynamically now we will see about the public and uh, confidential client the uh, the example which we seen is like a confidential client because we are using the authorization code uh, this is the payload for the uh, payload for the public clients I'm, I'm registering a implicit grant type so I registered it you can see like the grant type is implicit and uh, and it and it supports this response types ID token token and all all those things so basically this implicit flow is a, like a public client flow uh, suppose if you want to delete the client also you can delete it uh, using a delete method by passing the client ID so I just click send so this will delete my the deleted my the client already I have registered a few clients like uh, if you see um, uh, which is which which I'm going to use it in the demo uh, demos so uh, so there are various clients I'm using it I want to show you one client where it holds the JK JK's keys information also so this is the one this we will see in detail in the later videos basically this OAuth open ID server will holds all the information which is required for this OAuth client that's all about the client registration uh, public and confidential client using a dynamic client registration thanks for watching for more details please visit 100bytes.com thank you